All right, guys, so this is a pretty simple video idea I had. I was thinking to myself, with all the physique changes I've had over the past three years. So it's kind of an interesting note that it's been over three years now that I've been off performance enhancing drugs and I've been off testosterone. So that was November 15th of 2020 is when I came off everything. It is November 17th, 2023 at the time of recording this video. So obviously there's been a lot of changes. I got down in weight. I went back up in weight to 240. Now I'm about 200 pounds. And I've really been working hard on the physique portion of things in the last year, especially in the last few months. I've really leaned into trying, trying to build my biceps up and my delts and all these muscle parts, these body parts. So I was thinking to myself, this is a good video idea because I was thinking, what are the top three exercises you could be doing to get the most jacked appearance possible, to build the most muscle, to look the most impressive, what are the three exercises that I would go with? So this is pretty straightforward and simple as far as I'm concerned. Number one on the list, I'm gonna go with dips. So dips, in my opinion, almost give you a better chest pump and tricep pump than bench. I think if you're going you know, pound for pound exercise, best bang for your buck, what's gonna give you the, the best physique improvements as far as chest development, tricep development, all that, I think it's gotta be dips. And specifically, I like to do dips in a fashion where I pause at the top. So rather than even pausing at the bottom, I think it's more important to get that pause at the top when you're in that lockout, lock tricep position, and you get the most tricep engagement and development from that. So I'll pause for a half second, um, roughly maybe a full second on some of these, and that seems to make the greatest difference. So I like to do these for sets of 10, sets of 15. I change it up, but dips in a high volume um, effort once or twice per week are gonna make a huge difference in terms of your physique. You're really gonna see your chest come up and your triceps as well. So I would say dips are the number one exercise. And these, I didn't even mean to go in any particular order with them. These just three exercises that are gonna give you the best bang for your buck. Dips are gonna be one of those. Uh, make sure you're going with a deep enough range of motion as well. I think one of the things mistakes guys make is they cut them short. They're not getting that full stretch at the bottom. And when you get that deeper stretch, not to say you have to go to a point where you're stressing your shoulders and getting yourself in a point of, of pain and discomfort and all that, but you want to get a pretty good stretch at the bottom and really you know work the range of motion on these to a, to a safe extent. Number two, I'm going to go with alternating dumbbell curls so honestly there's a million curl variations out there that are very good we've got barbell curls we've got uh, cable curls we've got cable curls laying back on a seated row machine we've got 21s hercules curls we got all sorts of curls but in my opinion the exercise as far as biceps are concerned that has led to the best bicep development has been alternating dumbbell curls Alternating dumbbell curls have made a tremendous difference in terms of the peak I've added to my bicep, the, the vein you see coming out, all that sort of stuff. And I would say these are the number one curl variation you could do. The number one thing you could do if you want big biceps. So I do these roughly twice a week, usually five sets, and the rep ranges always vary. I could do eight sets heavy one day. I could go sets of 20 one day, 20 each arm, so 40 reps total. But I just love hammering these, and they just build up a bicep peak unlike any other this is the best arm development exercise that you can do in my opinion i always come back to these i still work in other you know bicep curl barbell curl variations all this sort of stuff but alternating dumbbell curls plain and simple are the best you can get more of an isolation that way because you're focusing on one arm at a time really huge fan of these they've made a tremendous difference in my physique ever since i started doing them on a consistent basis in the last couple of months Number three, I'm going to go with dumbbell lateral raises. So quite simply, if you want to build that wider shoulder foundation and get that width, you got to hit the dumbbell lateral raises. So every time I do these, after I do them for the next couple days, I have a noticeably more visible cap on my delts. Um, I see huge improvements in terms of the width. There's a better cap. Things look more separated from the, the delt to the bicep 
just huge difference in terms of the the shoulder development i am still doing overhead presses and i think they're they have a lot of merit but i think for pure um deltoid development you got to go with the lateral raises and i do i like to do these with a slight bend in my arm so i'll kind of i'm kind of blocked here i'll kind of come out like this so i'm not completely straight but i'm not like this either there's just a slight bend coming up like this and those have taken my delt development to a whole new level made a tremendous difference in the separation as far as everything is concerned let me see if i can so it's not so i haven't done them yet today but there's just been more separation i'm trying to show you guys sorry i don't know i feel like these have made a big difference and when i do them huge difference in terms of everything that the separation goes so those are the top three i would go with um, you may be wondering, like, what about lower body and all that sort of thing? I think that could be a separate video altogether. But as far as, you know, most of you guys, when you're going for your ideal physique, you're, you're targeting your upper body. That's what everyone looks at. So I'm not totally neglecting my legs. I do train lower body once a week. I train upper body twice a week because simply because upper body recovers better. It's much more better recovery, especially with all the running I'm doing. Um, if I wasn't running, I would do lower body twice a week. And I'll probably do upper three times a week. So there are some things you have to take as a caveat to this. But I think those, in terms of building an impressive physique, are going to be the top three. Um, I would say deadlifts overall play a huge role in terms of back development, hamstring development, all that sort of stuff. But I just can't, you know, I can't put them in this category when I'm looking at things from a purely aesthetic uh, physique standpoint. So that's one thing I want to say about that. Um, you know, for quads and all that sort of stuff, like I said, hack squats are great, even leg extension. So honestly, the, the, the main strength movements aren't often the best in terms of building your physique. So we always think of squat, bench, and deadlift as a lot of you guys are more strength focused than power lifters, but those aren't honestly the best, um, hypertrophy type movements, and they're not going to pack on the most muscle and make the most impressive physique. You have to supplement it with more of the bodybuilding stuff on the side. So that's the caveat to that. A lot of the isolation movements, accessories, and that sort of stuff, which I've incorporated a ton more of in recent weeks, months, over the last year or two, they've made a much bigger difference than just purely focusing on the big three lifts ever did. So that's what I want to talk about with this video. Um, still training hard, guys. I think I'm going to do a marathon next. So I've been training for that. I just got done. I just did some bench. I'm going to do some push downs, lateral raises. Uh, curls all that sort of stuff and I ran 13 miles today so I did another half marathon um, slower time but just pushing things um, trying to be as, the, the best I can be so things are going really well I hope you guys are liking the content of the channel please subscribe please give it a thumbs up if you like it and I'm going to keep documenting the journey um, let me know what other video ideas you guys want to see all that sort of stuff and I'll keep growing the channel I'll keep building upon this so thank you so much guys